hello guys and welcome back to another clash royale video so today i will be giving tips on how to cross from master 2 to master 3 from 6300 trophies to 6600 trophies so let's do it guys so i just need three matches i think uh, to cross over to 6600 so i'm in the first match and i'm using electro spirit and hog for the first play so you can see that uh, he have a valkyrie and uh, Gods, so I'm putting down my musketeer. So I think uh, this is a log bit. Uh, okay, so let's see what he will do. So he uses his rocket on the top of my musky and the tower. He got a very good value out of it, so that's great for him. So now I'm down by I think 200 damage. So in this matchup always remember guys uh, log bit take have uh, inferno or tesla in hand and it's uh, quite uh, difficult to break through their defense but we have to out cycle them so in the first uh, like in the first half of the match uh, in one x elixir we should always try to out cycle their inferno or the building which they have uh, to get some chip damage so let's see i will try to do the same so here he have a uh, inferno or not let's see okay so he have guards and guards are quite broken you must know that guards doesn't allow a hawk to get that much amount of damage so let's see guys he is using juke barrel and i'm using my cannon for his princess to learn about like uh, if your opponent is playing whether a juke barrel or not always remember guys the shadow always try to see the shadow of the barrel if it's closer to the bridge then it's coming on the top of your tower but if it's away from the bridge then it's a juke one so always remember this guys and even i will try to make a video on it as uh, lots of you guys have requested here he thought that i was going to use my hog but that's why he just dropped his inferno but i didn't use it and uh, here you can see that he don't have inferno in hand so let's see if we have out cycle him or not so i think he is going to drop his guard i will fireball his tower but our hog didn't able to get any shot uh, but it's okay guys so we always try to out cycle them and i think our musket will get one shot which is great so here i'm again trying to push with my hog but i think he have inferno this time yeah he have inferno this time and i will again fireball and I think he is going to drop his guard as well. Yeah, you can see that he dropped his guard. In log bit match, uh, always remember guys, try to get early damage lead as uh, the early damage lead can uh, help you to win against log bit as in the final minutes, you know that they always try to cycle their rocket and they took out the tower like that. So here, I, I will just try to avoid any damage from the barrel as uh, that can be very fatal. So here, I'm just... Uh, fireballing the left side as he just used his guard and princess so that's a value again i'm going with my hog and musky and here my aim was that i was trying to lock my musky to his tower but uh, he didn't allow me so that's a good play by him here i, I used my cannon for his princess but uh, somehow he predicted it and he used his guard in front of princess that's a good play by him so here he rocketed my uh, hog which will not allow any damage to his tower here i'm again using my cannon but he again predicted it and he just used his valk so i think uh, this time his uh, uh, princess will get a lock onto my tower but let's see guys here again i'm just uh, waiting for his play i'm putting down my musky for his guards and this time i think our cannon will be able to take out his princess okay so finally uh, after three cannons like you can see that uh, here uh, I'm again pushing with my hog and it's 3x elixir and I know this time he is going to start cycling rocket so let's see guys how we can win this okay so there is no damage difference again uh, from the 2x elixir period now I will fireball and I think our hog will get one shot okay it didn't but uh, nevertheless we can still win guys so he just uh, used his rocket on top of my tower and uh, here he misplaced his inferno and i will fireball his inferno princess and all uh, but still our hog didn't able to get any shot as his guard just uh, stopped my hog from getting any damage but now i will just put on pressure 
on him like with multiple hog push and here i will again push with my hog and here electro spirit just connected to the tower and i think our hog will get one shot and that's it guys i think uh, this was a very close match if he could have used a rocket on top of my tower then he would have won but uh, i didn't allow it as you can see that i just continue kept on pressure on him uh, due to which he didn't able to use his rocket so always remember this guys always try to put on the maximum pressure on 3x elixir always try to spam more and more hog towards him if you continue pressure on them then they have to focus on defense and they will not be able to cycle their rocket so now i'm jumping on to the next match and i think i still need two more matches to win so here i'm up against alices so let's see guys i'm just using my electro spirit first and then i will use my hog and then i want to see what he have so let's see guys i think he have tornado so our hog get one shot and it activates his king tower but that's great uh, we got one shot at least so that's the plus point so now uh, here i'm using my ice golem for his inferno drag and uh, he have uh, tornado and inferno drag so it can be okay he have electro drag as well so it can be i think uh, okay so lumberjack so i think i know this deck so this may be balloon or this can be uh, golem so let's see what it is so here i'm up by damage right now so i think he have bowler as well so he have log and i don't think uh, in golem deck there is log so let's see guys uh, i will use my hog on right side as uh, i have a damage lead on that side so here i want to use my log but uh, i will not so i will wait for his play so here i will log first okay he have balloon so i think he also have freeze so i must be aware of that so, okay so his uh, baller just locked onto my musky which is not good and i think i have to take this damage as uh, i want to do the counter push so i must uh, have elixir for that so here i will use my ice golem and hog but he used his lumberjack so i will wait for that so let's see I will just uh, use my ice golem and then I will send hog. So let's see guys how many shots our hog can get. So I think it will get only one shot so which is great. So here we are even in damage. I think I am up by only 100 of shot of damage. So let's see guys what he will do. So here he will just uh, use his nado. So I am again sending my hog as he already have used his nado. If I could have fireball then it would have been great. Now let's see guys our musky will be able to take out his drags or not. So I think it will be able to take out electro drag but it will not be able to take out inferno. So here I think he is about to do a counter push. So I will send my hog and ice golem on the left side. And I think he will come from the left side. I will just uh, like preemptively put my cannon on that side. Okay, so he used his balloon on the other side, so which is not good for us. I think he will freeze now. Uh, so I, I think I have to fireball now or else it can get a lot of damage. Uh, baller can be taken out by cannon and again I'm just using my horn. Now I will log here and the log will push uh, baller but he just missed his nado which is great for us. So they must be very much precise with the nado placement as uh, if you misplace nado then hog will not go towards the king tower so we must be aware of that so that's why we have to be uh, played very cautiously here i will again push with my hog and i will fireball here <laughs> as you can see that guys he just have given me a very good fireball value uh, and now i will just put down my musky and here you can see that he just used his uh, balloon on that side so i have to kite his balloon with my cannon but i think his balloon will get some shot so i have to fire ball here but uh, uh, i don't know guys what do you guys think i think his balloon could have been taken out by the towers but it is what it is guys so let's see guys i will again use my hog i think he is about to use his baller our electro spirit just got connect to his tower so i just need one fireball and log so ggs to him guys uh, and what do you guys think about this matchup is it tough for you 
or it's easy for you just to comment down below uh, as i think it's not that much of a hard counter for hawk cycle but uh, if in some cases if they were able to stack up a multiple amount of like uh, troops from the bridge then it can be very annoying so i think i may like need one more match to uh, reach uh, master 3 so let's see guys how it will go so i'm up against 18 and he is quite high in his trophy like he have 6592 and i think i have a 6568 uh, so if i get 32 trophies from this then i will be able to reach uh, master 3 so let's see guys so now uh, i'm just using my log here and uh, i don't know why i just put my log on that side as i think i was pushing from that side that's why i used my log i think it's a log bit deck so i will just use my ice golem like this to prevent any princess log so here he used his barrel i will fireball it so let's see guys i'm back to my log and uh, i will wait for his play as i don't have elixir right now so he dropped his princess from the back i have log in hand but uh, i don't know i want to use it or not i will send a hog and i will again try to get back to fireball okay so he used his uh, rocket so that's good for him so here i will just uh, use my ice golem and now i will put down my cannon to take out his uh, gods and princess so here you can see that uh, cannon is a very good building as it cost only three elixir and uh, you can cycle back to cannon very fast uh, against uh, beatdown decks cannon is very good so let's see guys so uh, i will again push with my hog and then i think he is back to his uh, inferno which is great for him so here i will again prevent his princess from locking and i will again put down my cannon for his princess so well played by me <laughs> so let's see guys and now i will again push with my hog but first i will wait for his play uh, so here you can see that he don't have uh, inferno in hand and i think he have to rocket now and i think he will rocket i will fireball his guards okay so he missed the rocket on top of my hog so i will give him well played so here you can see that our hog got three shots which uh, just put down his tower to 2271 so that's great for us now i will just uh, try to put some pressure with my hog so here i will just uh, try to spam my hog more frequently as i can so here i am just trying to fireball his princess and inferno but uh, it's not in range so let's see guys i will fireball his inferno here and then i will again push with my hog but he just used his guard so i will first put down my musky and then i will try to push with my hog so here i will just use my log and i will miss one gob which is going to take down my tower 2569 so here you can see that uh, that was not a good log from my side but uh, still we can win guys so let's see how it will go so i will just split my skellies and then i will push with my hog here here you can see that i have to cycle back to my hog very fast and i will just uh, fireball to get some chip and our hog get one shot which is great so here i will again log so i think guards will get some damage okay it didn't so which is good for us now i will just uh, push with my hog and then i will fireball on top of his tower with the inferno to put down his uh, tower to 1028 so let's see guys uh, i'm up by i think 800 damage which is great for us i will continue pressure with my hog and uh, ice golem so he used his uh, guards and valk and uh, here i will use my log for his uh, barrel here you can see that our hog still got one shot which is great for us so his tower is down to 607 so here i will try to uh, win by spell cycle so I, I think now i need only one log and fireball so that's it guys hope you guys enjoyed the video this is the last match i think if i get 32 trophies from this match then uh, this will be the last match because i just need 32 trophies to reach 6600 so yeah i got 32 trophies and here you can see that guys i just reached master 3 and more tutorial videos for 7000 and 7000 plus trophies are coming on the future so now let's move on to the shout outs so the best comments are by these three guys so 
the name of these three guys are not the wasp uh, dead crax and uh, bakar karesa so uh, these are the top three comments and a huge shout out to these three guys so once again i will giving shout outs to these three guys so not the wasp uh, daddy uh, crax and uh, bakar karesa so thanks a lot guys for commenting on the video and once again guys thanks a lot for watching the video and if you are enjoying the content subscribe to the channel and hope to see you in the next video so keep commenting keep liking the video and see you in the next video stay tuned guys bye bye